Let's learn about what is Meniere's disease. It is named after French physician Prosper Meniere. Basically, Meniere's disease is a disorder of inner ear in which the endolymphatic system is distant. It is also called endolymphatic eye drops. What are the incidence of Meniere's disease? That male are affected more than female. Disease is mainly unilateral means usually affected in one ear. It is more common in age group between 35 to 60 years. About 50,000 to 1 lakh people of world develop Meniere's disease in a year. About 50% of the patients who have Meniere's disease have a positive family history of this disease. Basically, this is autoimmune disease. What are the cause of Meniere's disease? So, Meniere's disease is usually caused by dilation or swelling of the endolymphatic sac that affecting the drainage of endolymph or other tissues in vestibular system of the inner ear, which is responsible for the body's sense of balance. Hearing and balance symptoms occur when the normal volume of endolymph is interrupted. Endolymph is stored and absorbed in the endolymphatic sac which is believed to play an important role in inner ear immune response. Overproduction, limited absorption and obstruct flow of endolymph cause the endolymphatic sac to expand, leading to signs and symptoms of Meniere's disease. Sometimes a distance endolymphatic sac is called endolymphatic hydrops, meaning increased pressure within the endolymphatic system and dilation of the endolymphatic sac. This distension increased tension on this membrane causing a feeling of pressure of fullness, tinnitus means ringing sensation in ear and a fluctuating sensorineural hearing loss in the affected ear. As endolymph continues to accumulate the thin membrane called vestibular membrane separating the perilymph and endolymph rupture and the two fluid mix. Because these are chemically different, the mixture causes an increase in the vestibular firing rate leading to vertigo. Vertigo is an abnormal sensation of movement having sudden onset and in severe cases accompanied by sweating, nausea and vomiting. What is diagnostic evaluation? First one is a neurological examination may show problems with hearing, balance or eye movement as well as some hearing tests such as a audiometry and audiology. What is medical management? So first one is a low sodium diet. Sodium and fluid retention disrupt the delicate balance between endolymph and perilymph in the inner ear. Pharmacology therapy include antihistamine which suppress the vestibular system. Dazepam use acute intensives to help control vertigo. Antimetic suppositories help control nausea and vomiting and vertigo because of antihistamine effect. Diuretic therapy that reduce symptoms by lowering the pressure in the endolymphatic system. What is surgical management? First one is endolymphatic sac decompression. This operation is performed by making an incision behind the involved ear and exposing the mastoid bone. The mastoid is open and the facial nerve is identified in its course through the mastoid. The bone over endolymphatic sac is then exposed and once identified the sac is open as you can see in the picture. A non-reactive sheet or silastic or a wall is inserted into sac to allow for a future drainage. When fluid reforms, the operation takes about an hour. Second one is a labyrinthectomy. Just like seeing a picture, a labyrinthectomy is a surgical procedure which destroys both the hearing and vestibular function of the inner ear. It is performed either by drilling out the bone and removing all of the labyrinth known as an osseal labyrinthectomy or by opening up the inner ear and destroying some of the soft tissues within it. There is about a 95% to 98% success rate of the ending vertigo that attacks with the labyrinthectomy. So here the surgical management of Meniere's disease. What is nursing management? Assess the severity and frequency of attack. 
any associated ear symptoms such as a hearing loss and tinnitus help patient prevent from aura so patient has time to prepare for an attack encourage patient to lie down during in safe place put side rails in the bed if patient is in bed place pillow to restrict movement next one is a administer or teach antivertigenous medication and sedation medication as prescribed avoid noises and glary bright light which may initiate attack advise patient to avoid food that cause allergy assist with ambulation when indicated and provide comfort measure and avoid stress producing activities So here is all about Meniere's disease. I hope you all very well understand. If you have any suggestion, let me know in our comment section. Till then, thank you so much.